Once again, I welcome back to the video and today I am going to teach you the fourth type of organic conversions. I hope now you are confident with the three types that I told you earlier, right? So now we will be moving to the fourth type. This is like the easiest, the sasta, the most perfect, the most nice type of organic conversions. And this is you know what all of us love which is Markovnikov's and anti Markovnikov's edition. So if I tell you the details about the type, the type I have named is simple nucleophilic addition reactions. Like sour, sasta, sour, simple, simplest of all, which is Markovnikov's and anti Markovnikov's edition. Let me just give you a brief idea about what Markovnikov's edition is. Suppose you have CH3, CH double bond CH. Okay, this is an alkene which is given to us. Fine. Now we have to do the addition of any reagent, let's say HBr. Okay. Now the reagent has a plus part and a minus part, and the alkene. Let us talk about the two carbons which are making up alkene. Here, one carbon has one hydrogen and the another carbon has two hydrogens. Okay. We are not talking about all the other chain which are going on. We don't care about them. We just care about the C double bond C thing. Okay. So if the addition of this plus minus takes place on this double bond, you simply have to remember the negative part goes to the carbon with less hydrogen. How to remember? Negative goes to less hydrogen. And the positive part goes to the one with more hydrogen. Generally positive means like more, 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 right? Negative means kind of negative thing, kind of less thing. So just remember, negative goes to the one with less hydrogen, positive goes to the one with more hydrogen. This is Markovnikov's addition reaction. Okay, but now, if there is like the presence of this word peroxide, if you see this word peroxide, peroxide, maybe it may, may that it be written as peroxide or you can see OO bond or you see benzoyl peroxide or you see ROOR or you see H2O2 which is nothing but HOOH. Okay. So wherever, wherever you see this OO single bond, this, this is kind of dangerous, it can like kill us. So wherever this OO bond is there, the rule changes. We cannot apply Markovnikov's addition. We will apply anti Markovnikov's addition. Now what happens in that? Anti means opposite, right? So the simple thing is negative goes to more hydrogen, positive goes to less hydrogen. Okay? All of you must have learned this since if you are in the grade 12 and if you are watching the video, you all must have learned this Markovnikov, anti Markovnikov addition in grade 11. If you are not clear with the thing, just let me know and explain it to you again. But now, I am just assuming that you have this much background and then we will try to do more questions of this type. Okay? So all these questions which I have written on the right hand side, I have taken from question number 11 and question number 19, if I am not wrong, of the chapter Halloween Games, Halloween's NCRT. Okay? Let's start doing all the questions one by one. The first question that is given to me is, propene to one nitropropane. So the first thing I do is to draw the structure. CH3, CH, double bond CH2. This is propane to one nitropropane, which is CH3, CH2, CH2, NO2. How will we get to know that this question belongs to this particular category? You can see, right? Double bond is vanishing. Vanish you have heard of? You put vanish on clothes and you also become like, wow, new thing, right? So whenever this double bond is vanishing out, that means some nucleophilic addition would have taken place. So whenever there is double bond in the reactant, but you do not see that double bond in the product side. Or there is a triple bond in the reactant, you do not see in the product, that means you have to go to type 4 nucleophilic addition reactions. Okay? Now how to do that? So I am thinking, thinking, thinking. You know, we can never add KNO2 directly. We cannot introduce NO2 group directly. And the best possible friend we have is halogenes, halogenes. So it's like, you know, 
if someone break up like uh, if someone is breaking up with his girlfriend or a girl is breaking up with uh, her boyfriend the third person which comes in picture that friend you know that friend which comes after the breakup that is what is hello and it can come for your nestle like every time you close your eyes and you think i need something uh, i want someone to help me it's hello again that will help you okay so let's try to make hello again from enki and this is very easy we have done this so many times we will be adding h to that okay i told you my comic competition h plus br minus if i follow my comic competition br goes to center carbon but do we need anything on the center carbon i don't need anything so i'll go for peroxide so if i add h br in the presence of peroxide now opposite bond takes place br goes to the more hydrogen thing right h goes to less hydrogen thing so we go on ch3 ch2 ch3 Ah, oh, thank God, I got something. Now this is my friend who came after my breakup. Uh, I don't have any breakup right now, but still, let's say it is a friend who came after breakup. Now this is to be converted to nitro group. Okay. Now in the theory part, you must have learned there are two reactions. One is KNO2 and one is AgNO2. You remember? So if you do the attack of KNO2, you get RONO. But if you do the attack of AgNO2, you directly get nitro group. So instead of doing this AnO2 thing, we will be adding AgNO2, and this Br can be easily substituted by the nucleophile N2. That is why I said this is an example of nucleophilic addition reaction. Understood? I hope the thing is clear. Once again, if you do not understand why did I use KnO2 and why I use AgNO2, please do let me know. I will explain this in a separate video. I hope this, this question is clear. Let's move further to the second question, which is, I want to convert propene once again, CH3, CH double bond, CH2, and this has to be converted to propanol one or CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. First, let's try to figure out whether this belongs to this conversion. Double bond is going away. It is getting vanished. So what we'll do? Break up kind of thing, right? It's ha it has to break up. So we need a friend, which is oh, the only thing I use is again I need OH at the corner. So I want be at the corner. So I will be adding bonds. So what will happen? CH3, CH2, CH2, Br. That's it. Now this is very easy. You just do aqueous KOH. Aqueous KOH does give K plus OH minus. OH minus comes attacks here and Br minus goes away. So Br can be easily substituted by OH. So this is second reaction. And this is clear also. Now this is clear, this is clear. Let's move to the next question. The next question tells us but one E. Okay. It's CH3, CH2, CH double bond CH2. And this has to be converted to N-butyl iodide. First, you should know how to write N-butyl iodide. CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2. N-butyl means the butyl thing has to be in the straight chain in the normal fashion. And you put iodine here. Okay? Now, one thing again. Is this question belonging to this right? Yeah, that is what is by chain, so things are pretty much okay, right? I need, be, I need something at the corner which is I. So half of you might be thinking, ma'am, can't we add HI in the presence of peroxide? I will get I here and H here, right? But, excuse me, knock, 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 knock. Remember, this peroxide effect or the anti Markovnikov's rule or the Kharash effect is valid only, 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 only for HBR peroxide. So this is the fact that you have to remember while doing conversions. Again, if you need the details, do let me know. I'll help you out in some other video. Okay? So we cannot directly add HI in the presence of peroxide. Rather, I will be adding HBR in the presence of peroxide. Okay? So we will be getting CH3, CH2, 
negative goes to more more hydrogens because this is in the presence of peroxide. CH two, CH two, Br. Okay. Now, if you remember the name reaction that we have done, instead of Br, I need I. So whenever you need I, you have to do the reaction which is NaI in the presence of acetone, which is Finkelstein reaction. It is a name reaction, and you have no shortcut, but you have to remember the name reaction. This reaction, this name, I don't know whether the spelling is correct or not. You can check it in NCERT. Oh, nice! At least to check the spelling, you will open NCERT. That's good. So you have to remember that if you have to convert Br to I, you cannot directly do it. There is one reaction which you have to use, which is using NaI in the presence of acetone, and the reaction is Finkelstein reaction. Okay. So with this reaction, with this shortcut, I can't help you because you have to remember the name reactions. Okay. I hope this question is also clear. Let's move further to the next question. Now the next question that I have is two methyl propene. Okay. Let me first draw propene, and at second position I have methyl, and this has to be converted to two chloro two methyl propane. Thank you very soon. Bye-bye.